Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Trey from Team OTK. I'm doing a special collab video with Team Conquest. This is a buddy of mine's Christian. And he's going to be introducing you today his updated Maelstrom deck profile. Maelstrom. Deck profile. Yep. Let's get into it. All right, go ahead. All right, so first four cards and the, the first card of the deck build is, of course, Blue Storm Supreme, uh, uh, Blue Storm Dragon uh, Maelstrom. Now, he's the main card of the deck. Um, first skill is a uh, Count Boss 1, and until end of turn, your entire front row, including the Excel markers, get plus uh, 3,000 power. And then the second skill is third or fourth attack um, um, only. If any of your guards attack hits, the Vanguard restands by discarding two cards off your hand. Um, and wh why my friend said that uh, the deck's been updated, uh, we'll, uh, I will explain in a little bit. But that's, that's number one. And then the other card in the in the build is Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom. Um his skill is pretty busted, but his skills once per turn count a boss one until end of turn. He your opponent cannot uh cannot inter intercept. They can only guard one card per battle. And if you have a maelstrom in your soul, uh he gets a the entire front row including some Excel markers get plus ten K power. And I'm sorry. if you've seen in many of my vid in many of my old videos with Maelstrom, one one card to guard, no intercepting. Um, if especially have a full board, it's it's brutal. So, and then in my new uh, so here is the reason why my deck is updated. I have in the build. <coughs> Drifting Flow Fencer. Um, he's like uh, like a cheaper Coral Salt because he, if you're at four attacks or more, he gets plus fifteen. And what makes him interesting in the build is like well, as soon as I ride him on both Rear Guard or Vanguard, I look for at the top seven cards of my deck and I look for a Maelstrom unit that adds to my hand. So this card's pretty pretty good. I still like Coral Salt better, but. I've seen a lot of builds with th this card in there, so. And then taking out the multiple attack BS comes into uh, the next card in my uh, build. It's a uh, <clears throat> Press Dream Dragon. Skill, once per turn, counter boss one. And you discard a Maelstrom unit from your hand and goes to your drop zone. Your Vanguard with Maelstrom in its card name gets plus 10k an extra drive check. On, um... I, for him, I usually put Press Dream Dragon on Excel Marker, and I just let my Vanguard do most of the dirty work. And that extra drive on Maelstrom, I think that's what they needed because it's there's no words for it for Press Dream. So, and then last card of my Grade Two lineup. Pronounces her name. Joel Staff of Emerald Elpida. Continuous. If your Vanguard is a Maelstrom, she has a she has a plus five k power and plus five k shield. And the other skill goes off when it attacks the Vanguard on either oh, rear so or a uh, Vanguard. Even though it makes more sense on a rear guard. Count blast one when it attacks the Vanguard. When when your attack hit hit effects activate, if the attack did not did not hit, basically in in on third or fourth attack, um, if the attack doesn't hit, count blast one. You by discarding two cards, just like with Maelstrom, you stand your Vanguard regardless. If 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 that's if your your Vanguard's Maelstrom, of course. That's one of the cards that makes this deck more interesting. And then there's another card in the build that kind of does it, but his name is Radiant Assault. Radiant Assault, one place, Soul Blast a unit, I mean, Soul Blast a card, and uh, 
the same thing applies with Elpida. Your Vanguard restands regardless if it's that third or fourth attack. And uh, if you have a Maelstrom in your drop zone, you put the you put a you choose a Maelstrom unit and put in the bottom of your deck, you get a free draw. So, in other words, Radiate Assault is like your your uh, it helps you recycle your Maelstrom units. So that's it for him. And then the I took out Wheel Assault for this deck in favor of. Blue Wave Soldier Senior Baragios, the great researcher for Aqua Force. Um, obviously, top five cards from the top of your deck. You look at look for a great three hands to your hand, and then his continuous skill is if you have four rested units, your uh, he gets a plus five K power. The only other grade one units I didn't change in the build, as I mentioned in the original Maelstrom. Deck profile, I have Analyze Shooter in the build. His skill is you uh, when it boosts a boosts a unit and it, it, the uh, attack hits, you still blast one and discard a card from your hand, and you look for two Maelstroms it adds to your hand, and then you shuffle your deck. And then last but not least. A crucial part of any Aqua Force deck is Light Signals Penguin Soldier. You rest a unit act skill. Uh, you rest one rare unit, and you give the unit in, in the in, in in the same column a uh, plus five k power. And if you reach, if you're and the other skills a uh, auto. Uh, if you're at fourth four attacks, uh, you have to do it uh, in what you. Retire him and you counter charge. And then my trigger lineup is changed since the last uh, built last time I did my most drum profile. Instead of front triggers, I use six crits, six criticals. Four heals and six draw. And that's right. my build. Alright guys, thanks for com thanks for uh checking out the uh deck profile. Please comment like below. Let me know your ideas of the deck profile. This is Trey from Team OTK, and this is Christian from Team Conquest. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.